I'm gonna show you today why it's so important to keep your holes filled. If you're growing on your tower garden, you want to keep your seedlings ready to go into the holes so that you can keep growing new plants. If you're going to harvest a whole head of lettuce, you want to have a seedling ready to pop into that net pot so it can start growing. I want to show you today why it's so important not to leave the holes empty. So I want to show you something. Um, today this is um, just an, an empty pot and you don't want to leave where you don't have anything in the hole. Now it's very, it's, it's tempting because this, this net pot broke, so maybe you're tempted to just take that net pot out and throw it away, but get a few extras or pop that back in just to give the protection of the net pot. And I'm going to show you why. This is a huge Brussels sprout <laughs> plant, so if you haven't seen that in the last um, post that I did, this is, this is finally getting some little Brussels sprouts on there. But it's so huge that behind it, I knew the sun was not going to get it. So I did not replace the seed, but I kept the net pot and look what I got in there. This little guy is just chilling. I don't, I don't think he's uncomfortable. I think he is loving his little home there. But if that net pot wasn't there, he would have found a way to get into the bottom of the tub and we don't want those frogs in the bottom of the tub. So you want to make sure that you are ready with new seedlings to pop in the net pot so that you can start growing and eating your food. But if you can't or you're not ready, at least put a net pot in there so that you don't have a little feast of frogs in the bottom of your tub. Hope that's been helpful. For more tips, go to Ribka Family Gardens on Facebook where we will share with you what we know about growing your own food.